Algebra 2 CRAM, New York State Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Complex Numbers, Question 2, Powers of I. Inbox me at lemedicine at gmail.com to order your complete CRAM. Review Question 2, Complex Numbers. What is the value of I raised to 99 minus I raised to 3? Is it going to be 1, 1, 2, I raised to 96, 3, negative I, or 4, 0. Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to think. Okay, so let's take a little conceptual journey before we delve straight into the answer. The first powers, four powers of I rather, are such i to the 0, well, we know that any base raised to 0 is going to be equivalent to 1. i to the first power, we also know, well, okay, I always tell my students first power is incorrect. It's correct to say i to raised to the 1. The power is actually the answer of an exponential expression, so I correct myself on that one. But any base raised to 1 is going to be equivalent to that base, all right? So i raised to 1 is i, i raised to 2, this answer um, we might be familiar with if you have a background in complex numbers, and that's going to be negative 1, because we know that the value of i is radical negative 1, so squaring that would yield the radicand underneath the radical sign. And last but not least, i raised to 3 is going to be negative i simply because negative 1, which is i raised to 2, times i raised to the first um, is going to be negative i, okay? All right, so successive powers of i after i raised to 3 are just going to repeat the pattern of 1 um, i, negative 1, and i, negative i rather. Okay, so for any whole number power of i greater than 3. In this case, we have the um, exponent 99. We can find the result of this um, exponential expression by raising the remainder, raising the base i to the remainder of the exponent divided by 4. So that's what we're going to do here. Okay, and we get that 99 divided by 4 is going to be equivalent to 24 remainder 3. So previously I said that we, we raised the base i to the remainder, and i to the third is going to be equivalent to negative i. Okay, so i to the 99th um, is equivalent to i raised to 3, which is also equivalent to negative i. Therefore, our final solution is going to be answer choice 4 because we have that i to 99 minus i to the third is simply negative i minus negative i or 0. All right, thanks for tuning in and good luck studying.